Greetings, Dryden Wire viewers. This is State Senator Tom Tiffany with your exclusive Dryden Wire budget update. So this week we begin the finance process in earnest. We've received the Legislative Fiscal Bureau analysis of the governor's proposed budget. If you remember, about a month ago, Governor Evers proposed his budget. The Fiscal Bureau that represents us in the legislature as number crunchers, they've done a full analysis of the governor's budget, so we have a full review of that now. This week, we have the agency heads, the department heads that Governor Evers has named to uh, head the Department of Transportation, Department of Health Services, DNR, all those agency heads, they come before us in the Finance Committee now, and we get to ask them questions about the budget. A few of the questions that I want to ask is, first of all, there's about a $7 billion increase in spending by Governor Evers. That's significantly more than the last four budgets. Is that going to lead to a deficit? Secondly, there's over a billion dollars of tax and fee increases. We have $2 billion more to work with in this budget compared to the last budget. Is it really necessary to raise taxes? For example, the gas tax is being proposed to go up almost 10 cents a gallon. I'd like to know, is that necessary? Department of Transportation has about a $3 billion budget. Is it necessary to raise taxes to fix our roads? And if we do okay a gas tax increase, is it all going to go to southeastern Wisconsin for their mega projects? Because we know it costs more for us to travel in northern Wisconsin, I want to make sure that we're getting our fair share in northern Wisconsin. There's also 700 more employees that are being proposed by Governor Evers in this budget. There's over 70,000 people that work for state government in Wisconsin. Is it necessary to hire 700 more people? Especially when there's about 10% vacancies in those state government positions at this point. And then on Friday, we have our first of four public hearings in Janesville. People from southern Wisconsin are going to be able to share their thoughts in regards to the budget. I really look forward to our budget committee going on the road to hear from people around Wisconsin about this proposed budget. And then in the ensuing weeks here, we're going to have three more public hearings after Janesville. Oak Creek, down in the Milwaukee area, Green Bay, and over in River Falls. And for you Dryden Wire viewers, that River Falls public hearing will be the one that's closest to you. If you want to come down and just view it, you're sure welcome to. Or if you want to weigh in on the budget, mark Monday, April 15th on your calendar. You can sure come down and give your testimony before our budget panel, the Joint Finance Committee. So until next time, my name's Tom Tiffany with your exclusive Dryden Wire budget update.